Hello everyone and welcome! My name is Finnegan Flynn and I will be your host for this evening. Now, I was just recently voted out of a Big Brother Online reality game. <sighs> I'm still a little salty. Okay, not really, not really. Real talk, it is just a game. But anyways, I decided that since I'm no longer able to play Big Brother in that game, I thought I'd maybe play a Big Brother simulation. So this right here is the Big Brother Brant Steel simulator. You can basically put in any amount of characters that you want and have the simulator play through the game for you. What I have here are the 12 main characters, or should I say like the only characters in the show. Oh, hey, daddy. Now, since I'm kind of itching to play Big Brother, I am going to be playing this interactive style. And the character I chose to play as is Naz. Um, Naz, I feel like is the best set up in this group of 12 to actually win a game of Big Brother with this group of 12. So I'm going to start out playing as Naz and who knows, maybe I'll try playing some of the more harder characters to win as, like uh, this guy right here. <laughs> I can tell you right now, he is not very popular amongst this group of people. Couple other things to note here, this uh, is set up with what you would expect relationships to be. I have the simulator set to... Um, include certain alliances that I think would have formed earlier on in the game with this group of 12 people. Like, for example, these three are obviously going to have an alliance that everyone's going to know about. These three are obviously going to have an alliance everyone's going to know about. And then this side of the house is just going to kind of be sort of playing the middle-ish. It's a really complicated dynamic in a sense that these three characters are definitely not super popular within the group they will go out of their way to protect these three, but these three, generally speaking, want these three out of the game. So it's like a really weird dynamic. It's kind of like the Big Brother 4 Mighty Middle, if you will, for our Big Brother Canada fans out there. Um, but, you know, enough talk. We're just going to go ahead and dive right into it. Playing interactively as Naz. Let's get the show started. So first off, there is a Cool Kids Alliance between myself, Kevin, and Rolf. And then we also have uh, Alliance number one between Double D, Jimmy, Naz, and Sarah. Uh, definitely an interesting group of people that formed there, but Jimmy and Sarah are obviously a very tight duo. Sarah has some pretty strong connections to Double D. And actually something I noticed when I set this up is that Double D generally speaking in the show isn't that disliked to the point where if eddie goes out the door i think the targets on ed and double d just completely vanish for at least a couple of rounds so let's see i feel like i am in a position where i don't necessarily need to win the first head of household but at the same time i'm also in a position where i have some easy targets that i could put up on the block so i am going to put my best effort into winning it so we have popsicle factory the house guests enter the backyard to see 16 uh 12 popsicles hanging down they must hang on one if they fall they are eliminated so a standard endurance challenge for this first head of household competition uh rolf finishes last marie Falls second, Sarah falls third, I am out of the competition fourth, Eddie falls, May falls, Lee falls, Johnny and Plank fall, and Double D is down. So it comes down to the top three. We have Kevin, Jimmy, and Ed. I feel okay about these three. I'm in a strong alliance with Kevin. I don't see him putting me up at all. I'm in a strong alliance with Jimmy. I don't see him putting me up at all. And I think Ed would probably target the Kankers. So let's see who gets this first set of household. We have Jimmy, Ed, and it looks like Kevin is the first head of household of the season. That is very bad news for the Ed boys, but let's go ahead and show the keys. I imagine it's probably going to be like Eddie and Ed on the block, maybe? Maybe a canker sister sitting next to him? Jimmy, you are safe. Sarah, you are safe. May, you are safe. Ed, you are safe. Okay, I was thinking he might go up on the block. I wonder who's going next to Eddie then. Lee, you are safe. Marie, you are safe. Johnny and Plank, you are safe. Naz, you are safe. Okay, I was gonna say, if he put me up, that would be kind of shocking. And Rolf, you are safe, which means the nominees are Eddie and Double D. Now, I'm not super thrilled about Double D going up because I think he could be a key to Naz's game a little bit later down the road, 
but these are terrible nominations. If things stay as they are now, I think Eddie probably goes home. All right, so now we have the power of veto competition. It looks like Ed, Johnny, and I get to play in the power of veto. All right, so I am in a bit of a tricky situation where I don't think Kevin would like me to win the veto. And if I use the veto on double D, I'm kind of showing my hand a little bit. But I would also like to keep Double D off the block because I think he could be useful for me down the line. So I'm going to put my best effort into winning it. Ah, oh, BB Freak Show. House guests stand before a large screen. Each round, a freak will be shown. The house, guest, house guests must guess which three house guests the freak is composed of. That house guest that does so correctly will, for each freak, will win the golden power of veto. All right. So Kevin, Eddie, and Johnny finish last, so it comes down to me, Ed, and Double D. I came in third place, and Ed came in fourth, which means congratulations, Double D. You have won the Golden Power Veto. That's probably the best outcome it could have been for my game, so fantastic. All right, obviously Double D is going to uh, take himself off the block, and it looks like Kevin is going to put up Ed in his place, so looks like Kevin is definitely trying to split up the Ed trio here. Final nominees are Eddie and Ed. I'm hoping that they are going to get rid of Ed first. I think that's just the right move to make here. Now, I would like to try and increase my relationship with... Kidding Ed. So I think there's also a possibility that a little side alliance between myself, Jimmy, Sarah, and Ed could also form down the line as well. Just basically trying to set myself up with as many options moving forward as possible. Uh, Ed and Naz bond slightly. Due to the mental stress of the game, Eddie isolates himself from the rest of the house. Lee opens up to May by sharing a personal story. Okay, so now the eviction vote. I mean, I gotta vote Eddie here, right? There's really no other choice, and I'd be shocked if um, the rest of the house didn't do the same, but let's find out. By a vote of six to three, Eddie, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. He leaves without saying a word. As I mentioned at the start of this video, if you're playing as Eddie, it is very difficult to actually get to the end and win. I have tried it a couple of times, and it is, it is not easy, let me tell you. So, not really into too much danger, and I don't have necessarily an obvious target, but... I do think it would be in my best interest as Naz to take out one of the Canker Sisters next, so I am going to put my best effort into winning it. Um, pixel this. House guests enter the video game themed backyard and each stand in their individual colored booths. Each round will a pixelated image of a past competition. Okay, a pixelated image of one of the two competitions we've had thus far. Great challenge. Great. All right, let's just cut to the chase. It comes down to Ed, Naz, and Sarah. I got third place again, are you kidding me? Second place is Ed, which means Sarah is the new head of household. I don't see her putting me up here, so that's good. Lee, you are safe. Double D is safe. I am safe, thank God. May is safe. Kevin is safe. Marie is safe, Ed is safe, and Jimmy is safe, which means the nominations are Johnny and Rolf. Okay, um, I think Sarah might be showing her hand a little bit too much here. Um, this kind of tells me that she probably has something going on with the Canker Sisters on the side, definitely on the Ed side of things if her targets are Johnny and Rolf. Now, Johnny's kind of like an outsider. He's not really in any of the major power structures, so I think this week if the nominations stay the same, I'm probably going to try to take out Johnny and play. Okay, so we get May, uh, house guest choice for Johnny, and he picks Jimmy, All right? That's interesting. And Rolf selects Marie to participate. All right, so I have no stake in this veto competition. So whatever happens, happens. I have no control over it. Comes down to Johnny, Marie, and May. So only one of the nominees is still in it. May comes third. Johnny comes second, which means congratulations, Marie. You have won the golden power of veto. Rolf, I am a normal... I am a loyal player. Okay. Uh, Marie does not use the power of veto, so it is coming down to Johnny and Rolf. So, 
Um, like I said, I would much rather see Johnny leave the house this week. I think that's a better move for my game. I'd like to keep my alliance with Rolf intact, if at all possible. Now, the tricky thing to think about there is the fact that I think these two might vote to keep um, Johnny and Plank, just because they're not quite as well insulated with Rolf, and with only eight people voting this week, they definitely could flip the power if they do decide to go with the Kanker sisters. But at the same time, I know my alliance of Kevin, Rolf, and Naz is probably going to try and keep Rolf in the house. I imagine Jimmy and Sarah are probably going to want to do that as well, but like, there's a lot of really tangled messes of alliances. I do think the votes are going to land on Johnny and Plank here, though. All right, so now I get to bond with another house guest, potentially. I think I am going to try and build some kind of relationship with May. Now, May, I feel like, is the least damaging of the Kanker sisters. I think Lee and Marie definitely could be detrimental to Naz's game, whereas May, eh, she's kind of not all there, strategically speaking. Uh, Rolf earns extra money for this week's budget and a task. I, good, great, good for you, Rolf. Kevin attempts to call, Kevin attempts to blame and call out Sarah for certain actions in the house and how deserves, God, I can't read. Kevin attempts to blame and call out Sarah for certain actions in the house and how Sarah deserves to leave. Oh my God, all right. And May irrationally lashes out at Naz. Okay, so the whole bonding thing didn't really go too well. I am also concerned about Kevin calling out the sitting head of households. That might be a little concerning. Um, I am going to vote for Johnny and Plank, though. I feel like that's where the votes are going to land. So by a vote of 8-0, to zero, yeah, Johnny and Plank, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. That's about what I expected here. So, so far we've lost Eddie and we've lost Johnny and Plank. There are only 10 people left in the house. Jury is going to start at nine. So only one more person is going before the jury. For this week, I do think it is still imperative that we take out one of the Kanker sisters because I do think uh, these two and these three could definitely potentially link up and it would leave us five on this side of the memory wall a little bit uh, in jeopardy just because um, we're not quite, quite as unified, and plus some of us, I think, have some ties over on the other side of things as well. Um, I still have my two main alliances here. I think if we can plan on this being like a core, I don't see anyone necessarily turning on this. This could easily be like a, um, like a brigade type alliance going right here. So let's see how this goes. I am going to put my best effort into winning it. I think Naz is in a position earlier in the game where she's not necessarily going to piss anyone off by winning HOH. Big Brother Tea Party. Uh, house guests stand in their individual lanes. They must run back and forth, transporting tea from one bowl to another. First house guest to fill their bowl and retrieve a ping pong ball from inside of it becomes the new head of household. So this is basically the slippery slope competition that they do almost every season. Rolf finishes last. I can see him yelling about uh, how annoying this competition is for the son of a shepherd. Rolf was the son of a shepherd. Now Rolf is the posterior of a duck. Double D was never going to be good at this one. Jimmy, same. Lee, yeah. Ed, I'm surprised. I feel like Ed definitely could have done his little run the whole time and just won that way. It does come down to myself, Naz, and Marie. Oh my god. Uh, myself, May, and Marie. Excuse me. That I'm not loving. I'm hoping I'm able to pull this out. Okay. Yes! Oh my god. Congratulations, Naz. You are the new head of household. Perfect. Historically speaking, week three HOH tends to do really well in Big Brother. I am going to put up two of the Kanker sisters, and the idea is that if one of them comes off the block, the other one is going to go up. So I'm already not in a good standing with May, so she can go up. And then I think Marie would be the other really dangerous one because I, these are the two Kanker sisters who would go after, or I should say go out of their way to protect their respective Ed. So May has Ed and Marie has double D, whereas Lee doesn't really have anyone because Eddie's been evicted. So if possible, I'd like to keep Lee off the block. But we don't need to show the keys. There are my nominations. Uh, May has no reaction, and Marie is very upset. Sorry, Marie. 
had to do what I had to do. All right, I'm hoping Lee does not get picked for this veto. That would be perfect. We get Kevin, we get Ed, and we get Double D. Love to see it. There is no way that there isn't going to be two Canker Sisters on the block for this eviction. Perfect. I am going to put my best effort into winning it, and it comes down to... Congratulations, Double D. You are the winner of the Golden Power of Veto. I didn't even read what that comp was. You know what? Let me go back and look at it because I'm kind of curious. Big Brother Stock Exchange. The house guests enter the backyard to see various stocks set up. They must also keep their heads and arms in them while holding a briefcase. The house guest that drops their briefcase closest to the one hour mark without going over will win the Golden Power of Veto. Marie makes a joke for a speech. May I am a more loyal player than Marie. Double D's decision does not use the power of veto. I think that is the smart decision for him. I am going to try and build up a bond with Lee since she is staying off the block. Now, there are seven people voting this week, so I won't have to worry about breaking a tie, so that's nice. I just get to sit and watch what happens. The pressure of the game gets to Lee, leading her to a public emotional breakdown. Oh my god. Sarah irrationally lashes out at May, and Liz... Naz finds Lee creepy and tells the other house guests. Well, there you have it. So much for the side alliance with Lee. Good job, Naz. You fucked it up. Alrighty. So eviction speeches. May says, I am a more loyal player than Marie. And Marie makes a joke for a speech. Okay, same thing we already have. Great. House guests vote by a vote of four to three. A very, very tight margin. May, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Okay, now here's the tricky thing. I'm not 100% sure who voted who there. I'm not really 100% sure, like, which side wanted which canker sister to stay here, but ultimately, I got what I wanted. One of the cankers left, and now we are going into jury with a little bit more of an even house. Um, going into this, we have my alliance here. Uh, between uh, Naz, Rolf, and Kevin, and then I have my alliance with Double D, Jimmy, Naz, and Sarah. We kind of form the middle of the house, where I definitely think there's kind of like a side here, and then like a side here-ish, kind of, um, with my alliance of four sitting right in the middle. So hopefully we can just keep the train rolling. All right, that is going to do it for this episode of Big Brother Ed, Ed, and Eddie. If you like what you see here, definitely make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so that you know when I upload the next part to this. And if you have an idea for a Brant Steel simulator that you'd like me to try, leave a comment down below. I promise I will be taking time to read every single one. But for now, that is going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm a woodpecker. Except with dirt.